Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of great meal, Shalom, who will teach well. Shalom to the hopeful like men that scattered abroad, pushing the truth without sincerity. And shalom to those two sisters that's taking heed and getting order inside these last days. <clears throat> So like I'm the brother I'm one coming into the video low when it's edifying, you know, just blowing the horn, you know, just a warning. You know, warning the Israelites, mainly the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and Native American Indians, right? We are entering, you know, WW3. And you're gonna see it start uh climb, you know, climbing more and more and more, man. <clears throat> so you know what we were just speaking on what was it last week with um Iran, you know, making a move on Israel, you know, and we know soon to come, it's going to make, it's going to draw uh, Babylon, right, America into that as well, which is going to cause for Israel to cause, it's going to cause for Israel to cause, you know, they, they big brothers, you know, was going to be America, you know, and, and it's going to cause Iran to bring in they big brothers, man, China and Russia, man, and boom, there you have it. You know, but we are in those stages, man, and we see it being made manifest right here in front of us, man. So, you just want to bring out the scriptures just to let you know, man, right? And also, I'd like to throw in there, if we're that close to WW3, how much more closer are we are to the, um, the, the mark of the beast, right? Second there's 15, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, right? The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and the Native American Indians. Right, that's what we're doing. We're speaking inside the ears of my people, right? Of our people. The words of prophecy, right? Once again, prophecy meaning to speak on the event before time. It said, which I will put in thy mouth, say the Lord, right? Also indicating the Lord speak through his service to prophets. You know, you may not believe it, right? But in the end, we're going to see who's correct. You know, when these things are coming upon, and when things are, uh, you know, come up, uh, yeah, come about, right, the paraphrase, and then shall they know that the prophet have been among them. You know, so we, we, we're about to really see where we at and we're going to see that we're telling you the truth. And this is another reason why you should be getting prepared, you know, spiritually, you know, what is just the point? Um, it said, I'm going to reverse two. It caused them to be written in paper for their faithful and true. Right. Just validating the point. Right. The Lord put it on paper for us, man. Right. So it says President Biden said on the, on the man uh, Jackson Hinkle. Right. It was an Insta, it was a Twitter post. So it wasn't I didn't see that as no uh Excuse me, no article. But it's just, hey, we just filtering things out through the scriptures, man. We see these things and we know what scriptures come to mind. All right? It says, President Biden said the United States may be dragged into a into a Middle East war if Iran escalates its attack on Israel. And there won't be no maybe. Those words will be thrown out the door, man. All right? Like it states in the book of um, Matthew 24 and 24. To so like the 24 and uh, like 6 on down, you know, it's going to get rumors. And then after that, it's going to get active, man. These are just the rumors, but we know it has to play out because we, we know WW3 is a part of prophecy. So they're going to talk. They're going to talk. Then guess what? They're going to It's going to um, escalate to what? Physical attack. Matthew 24 and verse 6. And also, you know, reading up, just letting you know that, hey, this is going to be the signs of the end times. Right? The end of this rulership. It says, in verse 6, it says, And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. Right? See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right? This the beginning of this shit going to be scorching hot. Right? On fire. You know, but hey, these 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 rumors is going to be not rumors no more. They're going to turn to act act of act of battle, actual war. You know, but I will say it again. You know that MOTB has to be right before this. That is the part of the prophecies, right? But yes, we're at the door of this, so it's not going to be no maybe dragged into it. No, America will be dragged into war, right? And I'm going to close out on this last precept right there. Um. In the book of Jeremiah, 50 and 45. <clears throat> Con, um, 
uh, here we go. It says, um, Jeremiah 51, verse 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord Yahweh, that he have taken against Babylon and his purposes. It says that he have proposed against the land of the Chaldeans, surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. And we already know how, what they're going to do that, right? With with the Am Amalekites, Am Amalekites, Amalek. I'm just saying Amalek. I'm saying the words wrong, right? But Amalek, you know, you're going to, you're going to, Israel going to draw what America into this, to this war, man, a war that they cannot win, right? All of that, all that MAGA, no, man, the Lord's going to have this wife desolate, man, you know, and this is what we headed to, right? The least of the flock shall draw them out, you know? Uh, uh, America finna ha uh, Israel finna have America some shit that they cannot even handle, you know, and and Russia and China, Korea, really all of these other nations, man, they gearing up because why are they ready to get America up out of them, man, right? Um, and I'm gonna close out with one last precept, Salakia. This is where we at with it. Revelation 11 verse 14. It says the second war was passed and the third. Slack it. The second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Right? It's around the corner, man. This World War Three is around the corner. Like I must say it again. So how much more the end to the TV, man? Right? So it, it, it's it's here. You know, we like I said, you um, you heard about the attacks. It's only going to escalate from here. You know, it says. Let me say that again. It says, President Biden said the United States may be dragged into a Middle East war if Iran escalates its attack on Israel. What you're going to do, man? You know? So, Lord willing, you know, that was edifying. You know, we're going to keep staying upon our watch and keep warning the people. Right? Till next time, I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh. By Shem Yahweh Shah. By Shem Rakadash. Till next time, Shalom.